Right, we have second example I would like to share it with you. So an experimental test on chlorine intake yields the following results. Okay, so you have chlorine dosage. Okay, remember uh, my graph that I have drawn using my whiteboard just now. So chlorine dosage is basically uh, representing the X axis or the chlorine added. So chlorine residual is the Y axis. So once you add 0 0.2 milligram of chlorine, so basically the residual is 0 0.19, okay, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 say and so on. So once you've got all this data, basically you can imagine that you need to plot a graph. Okay, so what is the question? I think that's the most important thing to do. Just to read the question first. Okay, determine graphic graphically, you see, you have to draw a graph, okay? The chlorine dosage at the breakpoint chlorination. Okay, at the breakpoint chlorination. So you have the data and you need to plot a graph. <clears throat> so I have already printed the graph for you. Okay, I have already sketched the graph for you if you like. It looks like this. Okay, so that is the graph. Determine graphically the chlorine dosage at breakpoint chlorination. So after you've drawn this uh, curve, if you like, so you have already known that the breakpoint chlorination is not here. It's not that. So it's not also that, but this point, okay, the minimum point there is called breakpoint. So they were asking you on the chlorine dosage. So you've got to refer at the x-axis because chlorine dosage is the x-axis. Chlorine residual is the y-axis. So that is our breakpoint. So what is the dosage is definitely just goes down there and the value is one milligram per liter. Okay. So the chlorine dosage at breakpoint is one milligram per liter. Right, the second part of the questions, it says calculate the chlorine demand when the chlorine dosage is 1.2 milligram per liter. Calculate the chlorine demand when the chlorine dosage is 1.2 milligram per liter. Right, you know chlorine dosage. Chlorine dosage is at actually uh, the x-axis. Chlorine residual is the y-axis. What is the chlorine demand then? Demand. We need it. Okay, something that is needed. Okay, if you give certain dosage, and residual means the balance, okay? So there are balance inside the water. That means there are certain amount of chlorine has been used. A certain amount of chlorine is needed. Or we can call also certain amount of chlorine has been used or needed, and that is considered as the, the chlorine demand. So in other words, chlorine demand plus chlorine residual would be equal to chlorine dosage. I'll repeat it again. Chlorine demand add with chlorine residual is equal to chlorine dosage okay because of that so we look our chlorine dosage at 1.2 milligram per liters at the graph okay so 1.2 milligram per liters for the chlorine dosage is here at the graph we need to find out what is the chlorine residual there once we find out the chlorine residual over here, okay, we know that chlorine residual plus chlorine demand is equal to chlorine dosage. Or in other words, chlorine dosage minus chlorine residual would be chlorine demand. Okay, so never mind. Okay, this is our chlorine dosage. Try to find out what is the chlorine residual. So, and that value is 0 0.35 milligram per liters. And we know that the value of chlorine dosage is actually 
1.2 minus 0 0.35 is 1 point, I'm sorry, it's actually 0 0.85 milligram per liter. Okay, I would like to repeat that the chlorine demand in this question, okay, chlorine demand is equal to chlorine dosage minus chlorine residual. Okay, chlorine demand is equal to chlorine dosage minus chlorine residual. And chlorine dosage is 1.2. Chlorine residual is 1, I'm sorry, 0 0.35. So the chlorine demand is 0 0.85 milligram per liter. Okay, 0 0.85 milligram per liter. And thank you very much for your attention. So I'll see you in the next lecture.